Hi students, welcome to Brilliant Kathar. As we know, we are in another exam season. And in every exam season, as teachers, we face uh, very similar questions like how to prepare for exams. And that's one of the most repeated questions that we face every time. And from our experience, most of the students feel difficulty, especially when we come to grade 12, most of the students feel difficulty in physics. Physics is a terror subject for most of us. Those who are even doing good in math sometimes feel physics difficult. So today, we are just going to discuss about how to prepare for grade 12 physics board exam effectively by considering all the recent changes in the question pattern uh, and the deleted portions by considering all these factors. How can we revise it effectively? And today, we have the whole physics department of Brilliant with us to discuss the same. Sir. Uh, see, if we are analyzing the last 10 year physics paper for the board exam, uh, we can see that there is a huge change after 2020, especially after Corona. There are a lot of changes in the way of asking the pattern of questions. Like before that around 2014, 15, 16, we could see a lot of repeating questions, but that trend has been changed. After 2020, there are a lot of MCQs, assertion reason questions, two mark, three marks. And uh, this MCQs, as you know, there are 12 MCQs for assertion reason. And in addition, that case-based questions are there. And most of the students are losing marks in these type of questions. Uh, so the students need to focus more on these type of uh, questions. So by considering all these things, uh, the students need to focus on some particular area in chapters, all the chapters, we have 14 chapters, so some focus areas are there. So I think the students need to be focused on some particular area to score good marks. When we are analyzing the chapter wise, so the chapter 1, electrostatics chapter, we have a dipole derivations and same on Gauss theorem, there is applications, three derivations are there. So every year when we are considering there are some questions falling from that sections. In the chapter electric potential and capacitance, we have a potential energy or potential based questions. Same manner capacitance and numericals repeatedly coming and uh, capacitance series and parallel combinations, slab inserted questions. In current electricity, we have a Kirchhoff law and uh, we have a Wheatstone Bridger. And in the chapter moving charges and magnetism, we have a bio Savard's law applications, mm -hmm. circular loop Deriv derivations coming. And uh, same manner moving coil galvanometer, yes, it is also yeah, conversions to galvanometer to ammeter, voltmeter <coughs> questions. In EMI, when we are talking, lenses low direction based yeah. questions are to find the direction of mm. induced current. It is a sure area. Mm. Then the derivations of self inductance and the mutual inductance coming. If you try AC generator and transformer, one 5 mark is almost sure. Yeah. sure. We can make it sure. Another one from LCR also. Yeah, LCR also. Mm. LCR mostly numerical also coming and the power of LCR yeah, circuit sure. derivation. Yes. It's important. Then when we are talking about the chapter ray optics, yeah. there are around five very lengthy derivations are there. There uh, we have a, a refraction at a spherical surface and the lens makers formula, the refraction through prism mm -hmm. and the compound microscope uh, final image at D and telescope final image at infinity. infinity. And that uh, uh, present question, yeah. almost all the question papers you can see that one. When we are considering the chapter wave optics, now we have only three derivations. First one that is the uh, refraction proof and reflection proof and then we have uh, the intensity mm -hmm. derivations. This is only coming for the examination. In dull nature, you know, that is theory based questions are mostly there actually repeatedly coming. Uh, that is why wave theory failed to explain photoelectric effect. What are the observations of uh, Linard's experiment? And okay. Same oh. manner, what are the particle nature of light? Yes. De Broglie wavelength numericals. numericals are coming really. And uh, when we are going to the chapter uh, atoms, uh, there is Bohr model. Bohr model derivation is uh, repeatedly coming for examinations. And uh, same manner, Rutherford model, there is impact parameter yeah. and distance of closest up. Numericals. Numericals. Uh, these two yes. areas based questions are there. 
nuclei it's very easy actually yeah. because we have two graph the binding energy per nucleon versus mass number graph, graph. and potential, potential energy, energy versus uh, distance, uh, distance, distance graph is there in the yeah. molecular distance graph is there so these two graphs are very important then uh, the chapter semiconductor i think most of the students loves that chapter <laughs> because you know see there is theory only not that much numerical and uh, the rectifier full wave rectifier half wave rectifier formation of pn junction yeah. these three are the very important area in that coming for example the characteristics also right no yeah the graph characteristics also and now that is one thing that i noticed actually the basic level questions is coming and also the I top know. level questions are also coming so i think we have to focus both i think and still where there is a complaint coming about that student the physics paper is more math oriented paper mm -hmm. but there are many students they are not studying math yes, yes. for them actually there are we have sub chapters of course uh, there are some theory based chapters and there, there are some other areas they some can focus other areas they can focus Maybe. i think at any course we can say purely theory based questions we can expect from two chapters mm -hmm. magnetism and matter yes and semiconductor yes so. right then of course em waves also yeah half day <coughs> dependent on itself magnetism and matter if you see a previous there were few numerical courses but now in purely theory courses are sure. especially in magnetic materials mm. para diameter yeah, 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 yeah. yeah then how this uh, magnetic permeability how change yeah. susceptibility how changing this that's a theory based how to do it or with examples yeah with examples yeah. Yeah. bar mat and all mm. they can do it then semiconductors if you say as sir told that one pn junction formation is a mm -hmm. rectifier is a yeah. p type and n type characteristic sure. graphs are the for one energy, energy band diagram energy band diagram is based on mm -hmm. so purely theory that yeah. they can do then emf if it comes Many electromagnetic spectrum, 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 spectrum and their applications. Yeah, yeah. wavelength range. Based on the users' questions used to come. Sure. Then and also the characteristics, like you know, that table, the wavelength, yeah, wavelength, yeah, wavelength course, frequency. And see, uh, all to the physics all most the purely theory based questions are solved. Mm -hmm. And combined other. So that those were so one of the major part of the question paper is mm -hmm. two mark. Three mark and five mark questions. Uh, two mark and three marks. Actually, it is a very important area because yeah. you know there are five two mark questions and seven three mark questions. Yes. Yeah, so so total thirty one marks are yeah. coming from these two areas only. Section B and section almost fifty percent. Yeah. yeah okay. Section uh, almost fifty percent. And many students are losing marks. Yeah. Because yeah. main reason is. Uh, here, this some of the questions are based on vector concepts, yeah. and some are based on calculus, integration, differentiation. So, non-math students, especially, they are making mistake in these kind of areas. So, this area, the students need to focus more, and they have to make sure that they are answering to the question, like sure. what they are asking. So, answer paper is not an area where they can write yeah, anything related to the question. Yes, they, they can't elaborate much more. Yeah, exactly. Only three marks and five marks they can handle somehow. Sure. But yeah. two marks, two is, marks is very marks. important. So, students, this area is very, very important. You have to focus more on this section B and section C. We need to get that out of 31, at least 28, 29 marks. Right. They need to score right. from that area. Because MCQs are you know, hard MCQ to score marks. If you lose, yeah. then lost only. We cannot so, no, get any step yeah, marks. Yeah, especially when we come to section uh, A, uh, most of the students will have uh, the same problem. Yeah. Even those who score 95, 96, or even 98, the two marks must be will be gone from MCQ. MCQ yes. <laughs> section A. Even and in our pre-board, that yeah, happened exactly. many students. And those who are uh, doing good in all other sections, they are they are. This one is at our one. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the section A. And I usually say when we prepare for section A questions. Uh, the students should have a proper idea about the concepts. Yeah. That is very, very important. Sure. Because this is not only numericals. Like yeah. Numerical questions may be less in that section. But conceptual questions, these students can't touch even. Yeah. Like, you know, if yeah. they are not clear about the concepts. Sure. 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 So, I usually say, like, uh, when we go for a revision, uh, take the textbook or take the notebook or take a material. List out all the concepts. Yep. Cross check each and every concept. Mm -hmm. That's that around that yes. concept. So that conceptual clarity is very, very important, especially from theory based questions. Sure. Yeah. Uh, and also associational based questions. They, they can't even touch the question otherwise. So that clarity is the first thing they have to make in the revision. So yes. see each and every concept, they have to cross check and make sure they are okay with it. Pre like revise that and clarify the concepts then only they have no questions right otherwise yes, it's yes, of yes. no use and some of the students are they are getting over excited that is also a problem like yeah. they will, mm -hmm. it will lead to a wrong answer yes tension is also a problem this over excitement is also a problem because there are some over very tricky questions yeah. overthinking is a problem yeah. And at the same time, there are other some you know some device based questions yes. yeah. that students can easily score mark. Most of the students, ninety percent of the students can score that definite answer. Sure, sure. Yeah. Device Direct questions. only. Direct only. Just 
sort of study the diagram how to draw it perfectly mm. laboring the diagram yeah. and the expression of the working yeah. like that if you see from cardiac chapter we have which some yeah. and how to implement it in metabolic mm. even that time the practicals also that yeah. so they'll be familiar about the topics they should practice that one mm. then if you come to the magnetism and matter moving charges mm. we have moving coil carrier yeah, yeah. second device goes yeah. yeah. repeating how can they convert it to a metal and volt right. right very simple conversion is a diagram, diagram. is it Then they come to this EMI and AC. There are two devices here. Yeah. AC generator and the transformer. transformer. Yes. Only so it's not about it. So the three marks we can see. Then if you come to optics, of course, plenty of devices there. Yeah. Optical yeah. 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 devices. Yeah. Common microscope and telescope. Yeah. Both we have. Then if you come to this, uh, nuclei and atoms are device based on there, mm. but still that. Uh, the ford experiment the right level and more of that spectrum so mm. generally can see yeah. then we come to semiconductor devices correct right. 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 so in easy scope at any cost that one of the most most important that process so we could say business bits yeah moving coil calculator yeah ac generator transformer transformer compound and telescope microscope and telescope mm. then rectifier yeah. the most it's product like seven devices also as one of the device yeah, of course yeah. as a device we say then of course and this yeah, characteristics so of the diode also that's that's yeah, in same manner you know see actually there are some graphs actually yes, yes. yeah some areas of graphs are there if you say about graphs yeah. so uh, in current electricity a yeah. lot of graphs are there yes. yeah. so it's like temperature rotor yeah rotary graph yes. the yes. electric field potential and the distance on graph yeah. this rotary so, graph like yeah. this rotary v graph v versus r yeah, yeah. v yeah. versus 1 by r yeah. Yeah. and v versus r v versus 1 by r yeah. Yeah. Graphs, yeah. Yeah. and also last year paper we had some that force versus 1 by r square graph also that's yeah. straight line that's graph. straight line yeah. so from electrostatics itself we have many graphs yeah. Yeah. but these graphs as usually we get uh, either mcqs or yeah. yeah. mm -hmm. nothing much from that okay. so that concept should be clear then only we can answer the question Then, if you come to current electricity, as we mentioned before, mm. rotary graph, mm. yeah, we get questions based on that. Okay, then uh, we come to uh, AC. Mm -hmm. Before that, we don't have much graphs, I think. Yeah. Right. In AC, we have uh, a ZF and IF graph. Yes, yeah. that IU versus Omega. Yes, the ZF versus Omega graph. In that AC part, we have so many diagrams yeah. like that. You yeah. know, uh, that uh, the whole solution is based on our phasor diagram. Yeah, sure. impedance right. diagram. Yes. So that that we, all those graphs, we should have a proper understanding. Yeah. And uh, when we come to this prism part, we have a small graph there. Mm -hmm. IU graph. IU graph. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then in wave optics, we have like intensity graph. Mm -hmm. yeah, That's very important. Yeah. 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 Graph difference between yes, yes, difference yes. Yeah. Yeah. and diffraction, both diffraction. intensity uh, variation uh, graphs. Yes, yes, yes. Right. Only one graph is there in that chapter. Yeah, yes. that's not that one. That's it. And then when we come to dual yeah. nature, yeah. not of graphs. Yes. yes. Yeah. And that yeah. graph has different forms also. Sure. Like, yeah. 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 Like you know the factors are very important. Frequency. Especially when we come to frequency part. Yeah. We have frequency versus kinetic energy. Yeah. Frequency versus stopping potential. Yeah. You know both of them. So that clarity the students should have, and then only. Yeah. And that students need to check what quantity. given along exactly. y axis like especially yeah. before over excitation is yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right, right 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 so that cross uh, they have to cross it of course what is given on the y axis y because the graph looks exactly the same yeah. yeah shape is the same so possible only quantities are changing yes that that uh, parameters will be different and then we come to uh, atoms uh, we don't have much graph only that transition graph we Spectral have to like yeah. yeah. energy level diagrams yeah. yeah. and we get transition graphs also like specifically yeah, right, find right. the energy uh, yeah, difference yeah, and all yeah, that yeah, kind yeah, of questions yeah. without greater wavelength and all like that yeah yeah exactly that they can easily identify yeah. and uh, Coming okay, to new okay. game, two that already mentioned, yeah. Yeah. two graphs. That two graphs is the most repeating, repeating graph. Three, yes. three more questions. Three more questions. One is a binding energy. Per As the chapter is short, then that is the most important question from the chapter. Yeah, exactly. Right. Right. And uh, that uh, the, the other one is like potential energy, energy, energy versus the separation graph, yeah. Yeah. intermediate distance graph. And they are uh, the the question is repeatedly asking the same way. Same yeah. way. Draw the graph and explain the properties of nuclear force. Yeah. Mm. Like for that potential energy graph. Yeah. They can easily score marks from that part. Then another graph we have from uh, semiconductors. Semiconductors has the properties, right? Yeah. Pe characters, characters, power and reverse mass. Yeah, then graphs so many we have. Mm -hmm. Then yeah, these many so graphs they have to be clear yeah. about. Yeah, actually, you know, we completed uh, uh, all the areas actually, but when we are checking our pre-board paper. and uh, the uh, exam papers answer sheet what we are facing one important problem means the presentation of the paper that is very important sure. mm -hmm. so uh, they are answering the questions like that question 1 answering on the same line they are answering question 2 mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, but they are not going to the marginal levels. One answered, then below only they have to answer two. But one answered horizontally, they are, are, are marking two also. We don't want to save a paper for the board exam yeah, actually. Exactly. And the second thing, diagram. We have to draw the diagram. We usually saying in the classroom, draw big diagram. Yeah. So big diagram is it covers maybe half of the answer sheet. So then you can mark everything, labeling everything yeah. properly. The, that so is very scale, important. Uh, scale is very important. And uh, then uh, draw the diagram and labeling, especially as we have devices. Sure. So devices, yeah. diagram. Yeah. If you draw the diagram neatly, so you have special trains for that, then only your answer sheet will be neat. So it will give a positive attitude to the invigilator also. Yeah, yeah. optical instrument. Yeah, practice, practice diagrams. And also we have an order like you know, first we will complete the objective part. Yeah, yeah. Then only we introduce the introduce the so otherwise they have to raise it again and move back like less. Most of the time they won't get the meeting point before. Yes, right, right, so right. Students right. are there, they'll feel I could draw in the exam. Yes, yeah. few lines all over there. When they do actually the exam, they will feel the problem. Yeah. For that, see, that practice is very really important. Yeah. Consume a lot of time. Yeah. Yeah. They won't get time to erase and so read. That, 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 that is why, you know, their lenses coming like that. Uh, above principal axis, only very little. Mm-hmm. And yeah. below yeah. principal axis, it is very big. Yeah. So, <laughs> like that, it is that coming. Is lack of practice. Lack of practice. Just practice or presentation is matter. Yeah. And then, whenever we are writing a formula in our answer sheet, what the symbols of that formula meaning mm-hmm. that if you have to write and another thing is you know this papers are reaching to someone's hand mm-hmm. yeah. so the, what they are writing in the first sheet that is very important yes, because right, you know they right. should create an impression so, that okay this student knows something so such a feeling if they can create at the beginning that will make a big impact on the right, person right. who is evaluating yeah, the right, right, once right. again what I have to mention is like what Shanim sir said like you know uh, you are not paying for the paper. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, so you're so these people will like, you know, if, if they are end, only two lines remaining, they will start a new answer there itself. Mm. Yeah. It may be a diagram question. And they will be trying to fill so many things in that two lines. Sure. Yeah. So they can leave those two questions as part of the next paper. Yeah. So Take enough kind of space. Yes. Yeah. So that presentation is very, very important. Very important because different kinds of papers are coming to the same individual, like, you know, yeah. evaluator. So, he is de- de- dealing with so many papers. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. after evaluating a very neat and clean paper, he will get the other one. Sure, sure. Definitely the impression will be different. Yes, right. Once sure that, that bias is created, that will badly affect that. Exactly. Paper. Whenever the students mm-hmm. practice the past papers, mm-hmm. let them do this way always. Sure, sure. Never the big answers and everything. Exactly. They practice exactly as they are writing the board exams. Mm-hmm. That will be easy for them to face the exams. Yeah, like that the presentation is uh, actually very important for the examination sure, as sure. Uh, everyone said. So dear students, that's it about the discussion. I hope the discussion was helpful. And please log into our YouTube channel, Brilliant Cutter. You can see the discussion videos of almost all the chapters, different topic wise, and also previous year's question papers discussion also available. And if you have any doubts, just reach us. Stay tuned. Thank you and all the very best. Brilliant Cutter. Your trusted coaching partner for JE, NEET, Science and Commerce tuitions with 10 years of excellence in quality training. Brilliant Qatar.